Hello my dear student of class 10. Hope you all are fine. Welcome to today's tutorial on string handling chapter. So let us start the chapter and I hope that you will enjoy the video. We are going to learn the string handling today. So we must know that what is string. String is a sequence of characters. For example, say hello. Hello is a string of 5 characters. In Java, string is immutable, which means it is constant and cannot be changed once it has been created. Next, what are the fundamentals of characters and strings? Characters are the building blocks of Java source program. But string is a series of characters treated as single unit may include letters, digit, etc. String is an object of string class. Java string class is categorized into two parts. One is string and next string buffer. Strings are implemented as two classes in Java. One is java.lang.string and second one is java.lang.stringbuffer. Java.lang.string provides an unchangeable string object. But in other hand, java.lang.stringbuffer provides a string object that can be changed. Now we have to learn that how to declare a string in Java. String literals are enclosed with a double quote. For example, string n equals to teacher within double quote. This is the declaration of a string. This n is a string variable that is holding teacher. Here with the assignment operator I have created a string. Another way to create the string is with new keyword. Here string n equals to new string teacher means this teacher string literal is been hold by this n variable. These are the two ways how we can declare the string in Java. Now I am going to show the difference between string literal and string object. Here I have written string s equals to hello means this hello is going to store in the memory and this s variable is pointing towards the literal. Again if I write s1 equals to hello for this case, you will see that no allocation will be there for the same value. But if you write s2 equals to high, here the literal is different. So for this, new memory allocation will be there. Here I have created the object of the string class with the new keyword that is string obj equals to new string hello. Here you can see for this one in the heap memory the allocation will be there for the object. Again if I write string obj1 equals to new string hello here value is same but you can see this obj1 again has been created for the same value. So this is the difference between string object and string literal. Now we have to learn the difference of string and string buffer. Before also I said that string is immutable that means it cannot be changed. And in other hand string buffer is mutable means that can be changed. Here is the theory of immutable. Once a string object is created, its data or state cannot be changed but a new string value is created. And mutable, you can change the state and the value after the object is been created. Now let us see that what exactly happening with string and string buffer. In this example, string s equals to new string hello. You will see the hello will be stored in the memory. 
now i am writing s plus equals to high means s equals to s plus high the new value will be hello high in the memory but in case of mutable means we can change it you will see string buffer s equals to new string buffer hello the hello will be created in the memory next if i write s dot append equals to high s dot append high means hello high the new value will be you will see the hello high will be changed in the same place so in case of mutable what we have seen is the next memory allocation will be not there even if the value is different for the same variable here you can see the difference of string and string buffer in string we are using plus operator or the concatenation operator it actually means it is calling the string buffer object then it is calling the append function and again it is converting to string buffer to string so as an conclusion we can say that string buffer is faster than string with this i am ending the session of string handling introduction thanks for watching the video till the end on the next video i will discuss about the methods of string with their examples till then stay safe stay at home thank you